In this video, we have a Honda EU20i inverter generator. We're going to go through a basic service, changing the oil, spark plug and air filter. Before we start the service, the first thing we'll do is we'll start the generator and warm, warm the engine up to, to thin the oil out so it's easy to pour. So to do this, make sure the fuel is set to on. Ignition on, choke if required and pull. Run that for about five ten minutes till the engine warms up and the oil will be a lot easier to pour. The engine also has a fast idle, which can be which can be done by pressing this button here. This increases the RPM of the engine. And if you set it back, you set it back to tortoise mode, and the RPM drops. Now the engine's warmed up, we've turned it off, and it's time to drain the oil. To do this on the side panel here, where the choke is, there's a, a screw, a flat blade. We undo this, and the panel opens up. Remove the panel. And right here, that's the dipstick and oil drain. There's a small little channel there, so when you take that out, you tip the engine on its side, and the oil will pour out. Up here, this is the air filter. We'll do that after, but first, We'll remove this plug and drain the oil out. In this engine, there's 0.4 litres of engine oil. And this is what we're going to be replacing it with, which is genuine Honda 10W30 four-stroke oil designed for this engine. So let's drain the oil out. Just like I say, remove the dipstick, which is also the drain plug. Set that to one side. Now carefully pick the engine up and tip the oil out. It's not particularly that much of it. 0.4 litres. And on these engines, they do have a lower oil cutout, so if the oil does drop below a certain predetermined amount, the engine will not start. And there, but there is a, a low oil indicator light that illuminates. I'll get most of it out. Since we, since we warmed the engine up, the oil is so thin now, it pours just like water. And once that's out, we set the engine back down. So now that's quite good with these Honda engines, is you can't really overfill them. Um, the manual suggests when you refill the oil into here, you lay it on a flat surface, and basically the engine finds its own level. Um, so on a level surface, if you overfill it, the oil will pour out. So we'll fill this up now. We've got a, a jug to measure the oil. Let's take the lid off the, the oil. 400 mil on 0.4. Fill it up there onto the jug, onto the level. Put the lid back on. So that's it there, 400 mil. We've got a small funnel here, tip the engine back. Place the funnel in, and now we'll fill the engine back up. Just a small amount at a time. There we go, that's the full 400 mil of oil in there. Remove the funnel, and now as we lay the engine back down, if it is too much, the oil will pour back out. As you can see there, it's right up to the mark. I don't think anything's just coming out, it's just on the last thread there. So we know there that the engine is full. One last thing, once we put the dipstick in, just give it a, a clean up of all the old oil that may have spilt. Right. Now we'll move on to the next step, which is the air filter. So for the air filter, it's this housing here, we have one screw, the same as the front cover. Undo the screw. And here we can see both air filters. We've got a, a top one, which is a, a fine one. We have a lower one, which is a lot coarser. Remove them. Give a quick wipe. Here we have two new Honda air filters, which we will push 
back in and the lower coarser one and that just slots in there. Like disassembly, the assembly is straightforward. Place the cover over and then screw back into position. With this part of the engine now being serviced, we can now close the side cover and we secure it. We'll now do the spark plug which is accessed from the top on the other side. So on the Honda 20, the spark plug access hatch is here on the opposite side to the service inspection plate. It's a simple case of just pushing in and lifting up. Remove the cover and here we have the spark plug boot which is pulled off. Now we have access to the spark plug which we'll remove with the spark plug socket. We'll remove this now reach and remove Take the final bit by hand and there we go the spark plug is removed the new spark plug is an NGK CR5 HSB and it's gapped to 0.6 of a mil let's put the feeler gauge in there and it's running fine so we'll go ahead and install this now, which goes into the spark plug hole there. Now we can get the spark plug socket back in, wind it down. Finally, get the socket on it, the ratchet socket, and just tip, nip it up. That's it done there. We can now replace the boot and the inspection cover. And that is as easy as changing the spark plug on a Honda EU20i. Another thing to check when you're servicing your generator is your the fuel screen on the, on the filler. So remove the fuel filler cap and you've got a gorse screen in there. Pull it out as you can see there's a little bit of debris in there all you have to do is just just flush it back like a back flush a uh, bit of petrol carb cleaner and just get rid of all those contaminants there if they'd gone into the fuel system in the carburetor might have done a bit more damage but that's what the screen's for so we'll give that a clean put it back into the engine now that the engine's serviced we can go ahead and give it a test run just like before turn the fuel on Ignition set to on, choke if required, and a firm pull. There's a bit of choke on. There we go. That's the engine running there now. Is that fast idle? So I hope you've enjoyed that video, that's just a brief overview of how to service a Honda EU20i inverter suitcase generator. Not particularly hard, um, only a few tools required, pretty much anyone can do it.